Today we're going to try something completely different and rather challenging. And I say challenging because I've never tried anything like this before, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to turn the TARDIS into a three-dimensional lamp out of wood and resin. So first I found this to print up and we have to cut out four sides. So now we have four cutouts out of one eighth inch Baltic birch for the four sides of the TARDIS. And we're gonna need to pour resin in. So obviously we can't just pour resin in like this. We're gonna need some sort of a backer. So then we're gonna cut out some plexiglass for the backside. Four sides of the TARDIS out of wood, check. Plexiglass, check. Next step, painting. And we're gonna paint the wood this metallic blue. going to glue the pieces on to the plexiglass just using the template as a guide and I'm using just using this um disappearing purple spray glue it doesn't spray very well though so I'm just going to use a brush and brush it on it's actually a bit easier that way anyways So now that we have our pieces all glued on to our plexiglass, we're going to pour some resin and I'm going to try just some resin tint in blue. So my goal here is to make it sort of opaque but not too opaque so that a little bit of light shines through but not too much light if that makes any sense just add some sparkles just for fun So next we're going to add some decals that I uh, printed off from the internet and I just kind of glued them on there with a little bit of glue stick. And to keep those on there, I'm just going to add a little bit of clear resin on top of them. We 
before we finish that, we also need a light for the top of our TARDIS. And so my thought for that was a tube of resin. So I got this straw from the corner store, just mounted it on some plexiglass, and we'll fill that up to dry. So I've assembled my pieces so far in my little uh, square rack thing here, just to make sure it's a uh, square, which it seems to be somewhat square. So the other things I've done is I added a sheet of this sort of frosted paper on the inside because even though the resin is somewhat opaque. It was still a little more translucent than I liked it to be. And uh, I realized that if I just put a bulb inside, you're going to see the bulb too much. So this seemed to just kind of diffuse the light a little bit. I just added it with some double-sided tape. And I also cut out the windows because I do want the light to shine through the windows a little bit. So now I've taken the top and we have three layers. The bottom layer is just a 1 8 inch Piece that I cut with a hole in it and then I have a middle layer so it's gonna like to act as a lid and this is gonna sit inside just sort of like a like a little cork in the middle of the of the TARDIS and then we have another layer on top so we have kind of a stepped effect and in there I have a piece of plexiglass which I cut and glued in the middle here I put a little extra glue around the edges just to keep the resin from in, from leaking out. So I'm going to put some resin in here now to match the rest of the TARDIS. The very top of the TARDIS, it has a light on it, so this was my little invention here. I know it's not the greatest, but it's not too bad. This was the resin stick I made earlier in a straw, and then I just cut two little donuts. out of wood and then I made a kind of a little cap out of wood and some wire that I had lying around cut into tiny little pieces and drilled tiny little holes put that in there and painted it blue so that's gonna get drilled into the middle of the roof here once the resin is hardened and it's a little bit longer because I'm hoping that the light will kind of reflect upwards and shine then appear like an actual light. So box is glued together. It's not pretty on the inside, but we got some hot glue in there. The lid, I've attached my little lamp, and there's the part sticking out. I've also put a little bit of that frosted paper on the inside of there. So this way the lid can come off if you want to change the light bulb. So in there we have our light socket. So it's screwed into the bottom here, so this can also just be unscrewed if you need to uh, replace the entire thing. I've cut the bottom piece here. This is gonna be the base. Put a little hole in here to put this in there. So it's gonna sit like this. And then we've drilled a little hole just right in there, going through there which the cord will be going through and attaching to the socket on the bottom here. So I've attached the TARDIS to the base with just four screws here. The hole cut out in the bottom. And that leads us into me playing electrician. So, figure this part out.
And so I've cut a little square of plexiglass out to cover this part so people don't accidentally electrocute themselves. And we're just going to screw it on here so that it's still accessible for people if they need to get in there and change the fixture or anything like that. And then we got some lovely rubber feet here so that they don't ruin their tables with the screws. Next we're going to put this switch in to make it easier for people to switch you know, on and off instead of having to just unplug it. switch here. Switch it on and off. And we're done. We got ourselves a Doctor Who TARDIS. It took a while and uh, I can't believe I actually more or less pulled it off but there she is. <laughs>